Hey guys, uh, today we are going to discuss this problem. So let's take a look at the example here. Um, as we can see, we are going to have a um, N and uh, this is a nonce of the following array. And uh, uh, there are two zeros in this array and uh, two numbers are missing. That is one and the four, right? Because in this array, it should be one, two, three, four, five. And the four and the four, uh, and one are missing because they are replaced by zero. So we can either put a one here, put a four here, or we can put a four here and put a one here. So uh, our goal is make uh, is put the missing numbers into the uh, zeros and make the arrays complexity uh, minimal. What is a complexity of a array? So the complexity is calculated as the uh, number of uh, pairs that uh, uh, the parity is different. For example, uh, let's say we have uh, one, five, zero, two, um, excuse me, four, two, three here. So in this case, we are going to have uh, one, two, three, four, four pairs, right? Um, all of the numbers next to each other uh, is a pair, right? And let's take a look at their parity. So this is odd, this is odd. So uh, this guy is good. And this is odd, this is uh, even. So this is uh, one um, point of complexity, right? And this is even, this is even, so good. And this is even, this is odd. So one more complexity. So in total, there are two uh, complexities for this array, right? And uh, uh, let's uh, take another example. So we put a four um, here. We put a four here and put a one here. So, uh, what's the complexity for this array? So um, for this one, uh, odd, even, complexity one, right? Odd, 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 even, two, right? Uh, even, odd, so three. In total, the complexity is three. So the better answer is two. So uh, we switch the four and the one right? Because the, uh, this uh, complexity is uh, smaller. So our goal is to uh, find the uh, smallest uh, uh, complexity, right? So we can uh, take another uh, example. So in this case, uh, seven is missing, three is missing, and uh, six and four are missing, right? So what is the com uh, complexity for this array, right? Is uh, odd, odd, zero, odd, odd, zero, odd, odd, zero, uh, odd, even, one, even, even, zero, even, even, zero. So in total, the uh, complexity is one. So this is the uh, um, smallest uh, complexity we can have for this array, right? So how can we find out the smallest uh, complexity for this array? So uh, we need to um, use dynamic programming for this uh, problem, right? So uh, what is our state? So we are going to have uh, F, um, 
um, F N let's change F X um, T I J here. So what does this um, state mean? Uh, it means that uh, when we iterate from left to right, uh, the X is the, um, is the um, index of the current item, right? And uh, T here is we uh, either choose one or uh, zero here. So zero means that uh, at this uh, particular place, we're going to put a even number at this place. And if t equals to one, that means that at this place, we are going to put a odd number at this place, right? And what's i and the j? i is the number of all the numbers we uh, still have. And the J is the number of uh, um, even numbers we still have. So to further explain that, uh, we are going to uh, uh, give a example here. So in this case, uh, in this case, we are going to uh, put a number at uh, the first place, uh, right? So that means x here equals to one, right? And uh, how do we calculate uh, uh, one, one, zero, um, uh, um, zero, zero? How do we calculate this state? So because uh, at this location, it, uh, it is uh, already a uh, odd number. So we cannot put a even number at this place. So of course, this state equals zero, uh, which means that uh, um, this state can never reached, right? This uh, state is a invalid state. So, um, so what about um, one here, right? What about uh, one here? Uh, that means at uh, the first location, we put a uh, odd number at this place. And uh, for the rest of the uh, array, we, are, we have zero, all the numbers and the zero even numbers. But uh, that's not gonna happen as well because uh, for the rest of the array, we still have um, two, um, two all the numbers and the two even numbers need to place, right? So for this state, uh, what is uh, its um, complexity. Um, its complexity is uh, zero, but uh, just uh, we need to differentiate uh, from the those states uh, that can never be reached. Uh, we assign a one for this state, all right? So with this state, uh, how are we going to calculate the uh, the uh, future states. So let's take another example. Uh, let's say we are going to put a, a number here. Uh, so this place is two. And uh, we are going to, for example, we put a even number here. That means uh, the rest of the even number should be decreased by one because we put an even number here, right? So uh, the rest of the, uh, all the number is still two. And uh, um, 
for this state, uh, it's um, a minimal uh, complexity is calculated from uh, this state, zero to two, right? So um, the possibility uh, that uh, the previous state transfer the current state, uh, there are two possibilities. Uh, this is uh, one of the possibility that uh, the uh, formal uh, place we put a zero and uh, we still have two uh, odd number and the two even number left. That's the uh, first uh, uh, possibility, right? And the second possibility is that uh, uh, we uh, put a um, oh, uh, we put a odd number uh, in the previous uh, uh, place, and uh, uh, the rest of even number and uh, um, odd number are two, right? So in this case, if we transform from this state, uh, that means the formal uh, number is uh, odd and the current number is zero. That means we need to add one complexity uh, to the current state, right? But in this case, uh, because this state um, is reached uh, because the formal number is one, so uh, this guy equals to one, so this guy equals two. And this state uh, never been reached because uh, at the first place, we cannot put a even number on it. So this uh, state never reached. So in this way, we can calculate all those uh, states so that uh, uh, in the end, we will get the uh, answer of uh, n zero to two and zero zero zero, uh, which means we put a uh, even number at the last place and we don't have uh, all the number and the even number uh, left anymore. So this is uh, one of the final states. And uh, another final state is that uh, we put a uh, one at the final place and we don't have even and odd numbers anymore. So we are going to choose a better, uh, which is a smaller complexity uh, of these two states. And we need to make sure that uh, uh, the uh, state that we are gonna choose is a uh, valid state. That means it uh, doesn't equal to zero, right? Uh, let's take a look at the code. So in this, uh, in the code, we are going to calculate uh, all of the states and the states that are saved in this uh, array, F array, right? And uh, we are going to read um, all of those uh, numbers here, the initial states uh, into P uh, array. And uh, um, we are going to calculate um, how many, uh, how many missing uh, all the numbers and how many missing even numbers. And we are going to keep the counter here Right, and uh, this is our initial state, uh, which means that uh, we put a uh, zero at the, uh, we put a even number at the uh, imaginary first uh, uh, place and uh, the uh, even number and uh, all the number that are left uh, is the total counter, right? And this is the initial uh, valid state. So um, zero, uh, if a state equals to zero, that means that state is never 
gonna be reached. And if it is greater than zero, that means that is a valid state. And in the end, we are going to minus uh, one from the fi final answer because uh, we add the add one to the initial state, right? And uh, the next step is to iterate all those numbers to uh, just uh, calculate all of those states. And the T here is the current, uh, um, current number. And uh, we are going to use the, uh, if current uh, number is zero, that means we can either put a even number or uh, all the number at that place, right? So uh, we are going to iterate uh, all of those states. And uh, uh, if it is a even number, that means uh, we are going to check if the previous uh, state, uh, if for the previous state is also a even number and uh, um, we are going to update the current state based on that, uh, based on previous state uh, and so on, right? Uh, there are uh, four possibilities. So we can either put a uh, even number or either we can put a, um, actually uh, here is, uh, uh, we are going to put a even number uh, at this place. And here shows we are going to put a odd number at this place. And uh, here is where we check previous uh, state is a uh, even number. And here is where we check if uh, previous state is a odd number, right? So that uh, we can cover all of those possibilities. And uh, here is where uh, the current number is a even number. And uh, we are going to check if previous state is a even state or all the state. And uh, we can um, put a uh, even number here for this state, right? Because it is already placed a, with a even number. So we have to put a even number for this state. And so as the odd uh, number, we have to put a odd number at this state, right? So after we calculate all of those uh, states, we can just uh, uh, output the uh, one of the better state of the two final states and output it, right? So I guess that uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching.